Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. Last time, people were afraid of Professor Layton's hat. But he's not about to lose it for any reason. Maybe we'll figure out why he's so attached to that particular hat at some point in time. But for now... A sad, dirty, abandoned little room with a big freaking sunflower growing in it. And a bee. My god. Okay, enough of that. One. Link up here? Yep. And one of these. Come on, it's one of these. There it is, the can. Of course it's the can. So let's poke the sunflower. This place is a mess! That droopy flower even has a bug swarming around it. Now hold it right there, sunny boy. I wouldn't go bad-mouthing that blossom if I were you. Ah! Why is someone lurking in the shadows? Simple. Because wherever there are lost puzzles, there I am, even if it means standing in the dark. Oh, it's you. Have we met before? No? Well, then allow me to introduce myself. Before you stands the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton. But beautiful? Hmm. Well, I guess you look pretty good for your age. Watch your words, Luke. After all, we don't want to offend the lady, do we? You ever notice how many mysteries there are in the world? How many puzzles? Puzzles that tease your brain? Puzzles that bend your mind? Puzzles that just plain frustrate the heck out of you? Puzzles that rhyme with T and stands for... <laughs> Never mind. Certainly. Well, every puzzle you pass over to leave unsolved has got to go somewhere, right? Where do they go, you ask? Why, they come to stay with me. I had a feeling that's where you were going with this. Or, I suppose I should say, they used to all come stay with me, but that's about to change. What? You might not be able to tell from my looks, but I'm no spring chicken. Truth be told, I'm getting tired. Oh? I think I've earned my retirement from this puzzle caretaking business. But you can't quit. You mustn't. Without you, what will happen to all the puzzles we leave behind? So you're saying that without me, you two would find yourselves in a jam. A giant vat of jam. As long as it's not a giant tub of jelly. And as for the debonair gentleman in the tall hat, what say you? I concur with my friend here. <laughs> yep, I figure you'd both say something like that. But don't fret. I'll make sure you're taken care of. How? <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see for yourself. When you've lost a few puzzles, come back here. Everything should become clear then. Now I know we just met, but you'll have to excuse me, as I'm going on a well-deserved vacation. I may never see you again, so ta-ta, and have a positively puzzly day. A puzzly day? What an unusual conversation that was. Let's be sure to come back here later. Definitely. Though that bug does give me the creepy crawlies. And we can't really click on the bug, so not much to do here. We're kinda done with this area now. In this area. What happened to the bus stop? It's in shambles. Indeed it is. Let's see here. And there's one. Da -da -da. Da -da. Whoops. No. And let's see. Oh, there's one around here somewhere. Where are you? No. K. 
Okay, there's one. There we go, that's what I was looking for right there. Okay. Let's take a look at our worn down bus stop here. The bus stop looks like it's about to fall over. Yes, it looks as if no one's used it in ages. But how can that be? We arrived here just a few hours ago when the stop looked fine, then... Look, something's posted on the side of the bus stop. I'll go see what it says. Well? I don't understand this at all. What do you mean? The sign says its service on this line has been discontinued. Given the appearance of the bus stop, I don't doubt it. Yeah, but here's the strange part. The date on this notice is five years in the future. What? Luke, let me have a look at that. Professor, I just had a sudden thought. Could we have possibly traveled to the future? It's true that we've encountered much here to suggest that we're no longer in the London we know. Just the same, I believe it's a bit early to leap to that conclusion, Luke. Let's see what else we can find out by exploring this strange place. And suddenly, a person appears. You, there in the tall hat. You wouldn't happen to be Professor Layton, would you? I am indeed. And who might you be, sir? That's not important right now. Here's what is important. I have an urgent letter for you. But before I go handing it over, I need to verify your identity. I got a puzzle here picked out for just that purpose, so get to solving. Puzzle 11, the professor's hat, worth 30 points. Below are five blocks. Can you fit them into the shape of Professor Layton's top hat without overlapping the pieces or leaving any spaces empty? You can rotate or flip the blocks. Okay. So let's see, this is actually a pretty easy... Uh, there we go, I need to turn you like that. You here. You here. You go right here. And there. And there we go. I've got a good feeling about this Simple one. Simple enough. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Top notch. These five blocks actually spell Layton in Japanese. Pretty cool, huh? And yeah, that is kind of cool. And new sticker for the picture book. All right. I'm convinced, Professor. Here's your letter. Let's see what it says. Professor, if you're reading this, it means you've made it safely to my time. I can hardly wait to see you again. I wish to enlist your help in freeing this town from the tragedy that has befallen it. But first, I'm sure you'll want some proof that you're actually in the future. I've thought long and hard about the best way of convincing you. Make your way through town to the address below. What you find there is sure to quell any doubts. Room 312, Green Hospital, 123 Auckland Lane. 321, 123. Okay. Well, I think our next destination has been decided for us. Let's pay this hospital a, villa a visit. Sounds good, Professor, but how do we get to Auckland Lane? It would be easy if the buses were still running, but unfortunately that's not the case. Perhaps that woman over there knows of a different way to get around town. And mystery number five. And we're only in chapter one. Future Luke. This young man sent Professor Layton a letter claiming to be Luke from the future. But is that who he really is? And now we have yet another new person standing on this screen. So let's poke her. 
Excuse me, we're trying to get to Auckland Lane, but the bus doesn't seem to run there anymore. You're right about that. Those buses were already shut down when I moved to this city two years ago. Two years ago? But the sign says the buses won't stop running for another five years. Five years? Goodness, no. You'd better recheck that math of yours. That notice is five years old. But that can't be right. Unless... Luke, that's enough. I do apologize for my friend, madam. Tell me, do you find the lack of bus service in this area to be an inconvenience? Here? Not at all. Whenever I need to use public transportation, I just take the underground railway. There's a stop on Flatstone Street. You two must be tourists, yes? With all your questions, you should stop by this hotel on Southern Street. It's just down this road. The staff there can help you find where you need to go. Thank you for your assistance, madam. Tourists? Us? <laughs> I was born and raised here. I've lived in London longer than she has. Now, Luke, there's no need to get all wound up. Let's find that hotel. And so we're done with you. So let's head towards this hotel. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Oof! Ow, ow, ow! I'm so sorry, I didn't see you there. Are you okay? Ouch, I skinned my knee. But if you give it a kiss, it would make it all better. Huh? Great, didn't pucker up. Smoochy, smoochy, smoochy! What? No! Stay back! Don't come any closer! Luke, watch your tone. Remember, a gentleman always remains kind when conversing with a lady. Oh, your name's Fluke? What a charming name! So very whimsical! Alright, I have to go right now, but let's rendezvous later, Dreamboat. Um, actually, miss, my name is Luke. Ah, uh, whew, she ran off. What an unusual young lady. That's a nice way of putting it, Professor. So now, of course, we have a new screen. So let's da -da. It's, it's around here somewhere. There's one. Uh, yep, there's two. Da -da -da -da. Oh, where is the last one? There we go. And now let's let's look around a bit. I don't think it actually says much. Yeah, the arcade. Hi there. We're looking for a hotel on Southern Street. Is this Southern Street? Bzzz. Incorrect. Um, so we aren't on Southern Street? Ding, ding, ding! Now you're in the neighborhood. The neighborhood of correct, that is. Professor, I'm having a hard time making heads or tails of what this boy's saying. He's trying to help Luke. You just need to go about asking in a different way. Here, watch. Hello there, young man. Tell me, is Southern Street east of here? Ding, ding, ding! Correct! And there's a hotel located there, yes? Ding, ding, ding! Correct again! Just look for the building with the white walls up ahead. Thank you. Alright, Luke. Unless our friend here is mistaken, we should head east to reach our destination. If you say so, Professor. He is kind of an odd one. So let's get away from him now. So let's see here. There's one. There's two. And there's three. So now we have a woman and the guy looks like he's wearing a fedora, sunglasses, and a trench coat. Okay, just a long coat, but you know. Let's talk to him. Oh ho ho! You did not just try to talk to me. Do I look like I want to talk? Hmm? 
uh, I'm terribly sorry. I was only... You got some nerve wearing that hat you do. Yeah, nerve but no brains. Well, what's wrong with my hat? Do I look like I'm talking to you, Pipsqueak? No, I'm talking about your pal with the big hat there. Me? Well, I don't see anything wrong with my hat either, sir. Listen to you. I don't see anything wrong with my hat. It's like you want me to rearrange your face. That's it. It's time to teach you a lesson. Solve this puzzle. Rearranging my face with the puzzle. Okay. Puzzle 12. Follow the arrows. Worth 30 points. Nope. Still not making, you know, making uh, anything happen there. Nope, no face rearrangement. Oh well. This puzzle is super easy. All you have to do is place each of the seven cards, the one, two, three, four, five, plus, and equals, into the square that its arrow is pointing to. Oh, and one more thing. The equation created by the cards has to be valid. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then the one goes here. Here. Four gets to go there. Three goes there. And the two goes here. So let's see. What do we got here? Three plus 412 equals five. Doesn't quite work, does it? But... What happens? There we go. Bingo. 3 plus 4 is 7, minus 2 equals 5. Let's see if I've got this right. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. You can also switch the 5 and 2 by rotating them, if you think about it. Excellent. The equation won't work if the cards are replaced in their placed in their respective squares as is. You have to rotate the one card 90 degrees to make it a minus sign. Nice job. If you could flip the 2 and the 5, you could make that equation work either way. Well, someone's smarter than he looks. I'll let you off with a warning this time, all right? But if you're still wearing that hat tomorrow, things will get ugly. And by things, I mean your face. Well, you're gonna throw another puzzle at it? Hey, a hat sticker. Anyway, now that we've had our encounter with someone called a family goon, it's time to cut the video. When we return, we continue our trek to get into the hotel and ask some questions. Take care, folks. See you then.